Good day everyone, it's Luke Mead here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can create Facebook ads for your clothing brand, just like this. This is a carousel ad that pulls in products directly from your store and advertises them straight to Facebook where people can click through and buy a product straight away. This is quite a simple ad, but super, super effective for clothing brands to sell their clothes. Let's jump straight into it, guys. So, we're heading to Ads Manager, and you won't have any of this. That was just the current ad I set up then. You'll have a Ads Manager that looks something like this. The first prerequisite for setting up an ad like this, a carousel ad that pulls in from your store, is you need to make sure that your Facebook has Commerce Manager set up correctly, and that Facebook is pulling in your products from your store into Facebook and syncing through the data. There's a few ways to do this. You can do this by, my bad, that was a bloody idiot mistake, wrong place. We're looking for create a catalog down here. We go add catalog. You can see I've already got one. That was what I set up previously to make this ad. In this case here, we're gonna select e-commerce, but you can use other options if they are applicable to you you're gonna have two options here, how you wanna connect. You can either upload the information, which I don't recommend. I recommend you connect a partner platform, basically your website provider. And once you log in there, your products will sync through and Facebook will be able to pull all the data out of your website. I'm not gonna show you this because I've already set up my catalog, but you need to do that yourself. Now, once you've got your catalog set up, you can jump into Facebook Ads Manager and we can create that catalog ad, the scrolling carousel ad on Facebook. So the first step is looking for a big green button. Sorry, this isn't the right ad account. I've got a few ad accounts going. We'll look for the big green button that says create. Let's hit that. And we've got a few objectives which Facebook gives us. Now each objective changes how Facebook delivers the ad in order to get the best conversions. In this case, we're gonna do catalog sales, which means Facebook's gonna be pulling through the catalog data and putting it onto Facebook ads. You can see here, it gives us the option to select the catalog you wanna choose, and it even previews it for us. And you can see these are the catalogs and the t-shirts I uploaded into that catalog. In your case, all your products will be in here. So let's hit continue. And we're on the path to making our carousel ad, which is super, super exciting. We can give it a name if we want. In this case, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna adjust anything in the, um, what am I looking for? Campaign settings. So those that haven't been used Facebook ads before, there's three levels. There's the campaign, the ad set, and then the ad. The campaign holds the objective of the ad. The ad set holds the targeting pricing of the ad and then the ad itself holds the actual creative. And they cascade downwards, so they all take on the properties of the one above them, if that makes sense. So in this case here, we're in the ad set, and we can edit the budget in this case. So for me, we want to start small and put $10 a day. We can adjust, adjust the start date. We might want to set that to 11.35, which is in the past. We might set it to 12.35 p.m., an hour away. We can create an audience here. So Facebook's suggesting I retarget ads to people who interact with your products on and off Facebook. I think that's a good idea. And I'm gonna show the ads to people who have viewed or added to cart but not purchased in the last 14 days. We can even expand that, make it a bit bigger if we want. Now, in order to access these settings, you have to have a pixel installed in your website that Facebook will pull that data from. A pixel is a little bit of information that you plug into your website to connect your website to Facebook. We can adjust the placements of the ad here, whether we want it to appear on Facebook or Instagram and the news feeds. In this case, we'll leave it automatic. Facebook's really, really good at showing your ad in the right places. If it's not working on Instagram, Facebook won't spend money on Instagram. If it's working on Facebook, Facebook will spend the money there. 
So Facebook's working for you in this case. We're gonna hit next because that's our ad set set up correctly. And now we're gonna have a look at writing the creative for our ad. You can adjust here, your Facebook page, your Instagram page. We can look at dynamic formats, which means that Facebook will pull in information and change it as necessarily, as, as they see necessarily. So the first thing I wanna start off with is the primary text. This is what appears at the top of the ad. In our case, I've just written a short one previously. I'm gonna copy that in. And here is where it gets cool. So you can see that Facebook is pulling in information from your website. In this case, I've got it set to pull in the product name, which is appearing there, and then in the description, the price. But we can add our own custom, we can add our own custom information by typing afterwards. In this case, we might add a dash and say, world's best t-shirt. And in the description, after the price, we might add a dash and say, shop, shop now. And you can see Facebook's pulling in the price and the product name. So for each product that pulls through, it will display that. And you can even see that's happening here. There we go. You can see that it pulled through the world's best t-shirt and shop now. If we go to desktop mode, we should be able to swipe through and see as, they, as Facebook pulls through different products, that information will be applied and the price will be updated, the name will be updated and the image is updated. It's a really, really cool way to advertise on Facebook is using this method. You then wanna put in the URL, you wanna redirect people to here. You can adjust the display link, which isn't really that important. And I recommend definitely keeping the call to action as shop now. And that's pretty much it guys. If you just hit publish, We'll now be able to preview the ad properly and see how it looks. I'm going to use my phone to preview the ad because that's how most people use Facebook. So in the top right here, if we click on this and go send notification to Facebook, you'll see what it says. A notification has been sent to Facebook account for Luke's Mead. To Luke Mead, that's me. Please open Facebook on your phone to preview the ad, okay? So now I'm gonna switch to my phone here we are in Facebook, and if I scroll down, you'll start to see the ad appearing, which is really, really cool. You can see, and people can like, or they can like, when it's an actual ad. There we go. And they can comment. Keep in mind, this is just a demo ad that Facebook shared with you, but this is a funky way to see how your Facebook ads are actually gonna come to life and how they're gonna feel in your hand on your phone. I hope this video helped you guys and you learnt a little bit. I really enjoyed making it. I love these tutorials. Have a great day, guys. Keep well, stay safe. Love you all. Ciao, ciao.